Hey love bugs, it's Rosalind back at you one more again. I hope everybody is doing blessed. I'm doing blessed and highly favorite and definitely hope the same for you. And if this is your first time stopping by my channel, much love to you and welcome. And to my returning subs, my grown extended beautiful family, just bless you in all the things that you do. I know our journey is crazy, but you know, it's something that we have to go through. So I'm sending up uplifting, comforting, loving vibes towards your way. And with that being said, much love to all. Namaste, love and blessings, love and light. And many blessings are definitely coming your way. And if you have been watching my videos for a while and have not already, please like and subscribe. Even hit that notification bell so you know when I'm about to upload my next video. Also, if um, you are comfortable now, please go ahead and drop me a line or two. I love the chance to get to know you as much as you're getting to know me. Even if it's about the positive feedback of the content of my video or you're just up telling me about your empathic gift and how it impacted your life and heading you towards a positive direction. Also, if you feel like the video is just getting good vibes or just good information that you need to share with a loved one or a friend or another em fellow empath that's going through something that you know they really need to hear, please go ahead and do so and share. And also, give me a thumbs up and like and even share on your social media favorites wherever you see fit so thank y'all uh thank you for the love and support that you give me each and every day especially on these videos and channel is greatly appreciated and i hope you're able to uh resonate in the content of my video y'all i had a brain gap game <laughs> brain vibe gap so it had me on pause for a minute um, but yes, like I've told y'all before on all the other my videos, I'm just be putting this out for my daughter for a few weeks, you know, until her ending date that, um, if you can please stop by her website, she's having a book that she's trying to publish and get out to the public with a uh, different artist, uh, different, uh, poets and everything where they're showing their paintings, their drawings, their anything that's, you know, artistic that they, they thought from the heart, they're trying to put, collaborate this in the book and, if you can go ahead and donate, even if it's a couple of dollars, it's all greatly appreciated. And if you can, when you do, please let her let my daughter know that you have uh, stopped by and you were sent by me. It all greatly be appreciated. And today, let me turn this up because I can't really hear it. Um, the meditation music I'm listening to today is six thirty nine hertz, six hundred thirty nine hertz, Moon Love and Miracles. Uh, attract love, balance mood, emotions, and heal heart chakra. Oh, goodness, because I can feel my, ooh, my third eye is, like, really tingling right now. So I know it's messing with my third eye. So if you start feeling that vibration from right here and right here, you know why. And it's, it's like, opening it up right, right now. Um, my video today is about Twin Flame 101. Um, hey, Oka's, it was so necessary to go through the full moon shift. We had to. We really had to go through that because it's just like, you know how they say you got to go through it to get to it. We really did because it, it seemed like from what I'm getting from universe, it's like the, whatever we're going through right now, it had us focusing on things that we needed to, to heal from. The things that we had to recognize that, you know, we might be beating our own self up for. Um Things that, you know, we had to reflect on and let go of, you know, it's just like. We can be put in so many painful situations, but it's up to you either, you know how they say, either your situation is going to make you or break you. And you cannot allow what your situation is to do that, you know, to break you. Because this is your last time going through all these crazy edicts or whatever it is, what have you. But you have to be able to see it for what it's worth. You have to be able to say, okay, things can't. Things can only keep going on. The pain only can go it affect you only if you allow it. And, you know, I had to tell a friend that today. You know, we are stronger than we, we, we give ourselves credit for. It. And, I mean, I'm feeling this new energy. And y'all probably feel it today. If you've been with me for a while, you're probably feeling this. Feeling my energy. And I love to give this energy out towards people. You know, and it's a beautiful energy that I really am appreciating. You know, I'm appreciating all the things that I went through because... My situation has made me so much stronger, you know, because it's like, like I told y'all a couple of weeks, for a couple of weeks now, I, it took me a long time to get over and see the situation I was in. It, Yeah, of course it hurt, but I learned so much from that. When you only got strength and strength alone to get by, you, I mean, you have to really, really deal with that strength, work with your strength. 
because I beat myself up a lot for not letting things go, you know, and it's just like, it's not fair, it's not fair. No, it wasn't fair, but you had to go through this situation. If you want to learn what you need to learn from it and take what you needed to take from it, that's what you had to do. I'll pause for the cause, y'all. Okay, y'all, my bad. My phone it rang. But yeah, we we are going through these things for a reason. You know, when I told y'all that our situation is uh with when it comes to the generational curse and the karmatic cycles is going to end because they needed you to go through the most toughest, roughest situations, not to break you, but for you to gather that strength and say, you know what, I learned what I needed to learn. Okay. You're graduating. It's just like you're going through high school all over again. You had to learn what you need to learn. They're, they're teaching you certain things that you needed to grow from. Um, and you had to really, I mean, it really put you through the test of time at this point. And, you know, and it's like when we went through this situation, you're like, oh, my God, why do I keep going through this? Oh, oh my gosh, why does it have to be like this? And, you know, I can't deal with it no more. I'm not taking it no more. And, you know, and it, it wasn't there to punish us. And I keep telling you all that it wasn't there to punish us because I know we really are going through some really messed up situations right now. But it has you, you know, people are starting to go through these you know, uh, spiritual awakenings. Like I have friends that have lost loved ones, best friends that has passed away that, you know, they really held dear to them. Um, so they had to go through a, a really heartbreaking, shocking situation for them to be able to know why you're here. What is your story supposed to teach you? What are you learning from this situation? What can you gather from this situation? And it's just like, it wasn't there to break you, but it was to make you into something that you never thought you could mold yourself up to be, you know, because a lot of times we feel like I can't do it no more. I can't deal with this no more. You know, I'm going to just put it away and deal with it later. No, because the more you keep trying to put it off to the side and not deal with the things that you need to deal with, it's going to get worse. So that's why when I tell you we're going through this and everything is just put putting that hold on you and you feel like you're going through a hellish nightmare, they needed you to go through that. That was that shift. That was supposed to be that shift that you, you know, you can finally say, you know what? I got it. I understand because nothing can affect you unless you allow it to, you know, it's just like, I know you're going to still have past hurt come up past memories, but as long as you don't give it that attention and just let it flow like, you know, like you're letting it go of a balloon that needs to go float up in the air. You can't pay attention to it. You can't give that old situation uh, that you were placed into power anymore. You had to be able to say, okay, this has happened to me, but it's not happening to me. This is what I learned from this situation. I can't allow it to hurt me anymore. I can't allow it to, you know, stop me from growing because it's like your situation is not supposed to stop you from growing. Um, you know, some people allow their self to play victim. They do. I, I see a lot of people that do that. And it's just like, you know, I could, like, I went out my way to help people. And they were like, yeah, I want the help. Yeah, I want the help. And then when I finally gave them the things that they need to get help with, they ignored it. And I'm just like, well, hey, you know, you want to get out of this situation? I said, you know, you're going through this for a reason. You know, all your resources are being blocked off, especially if you're in a situation where it comes with abuse and narcissistic people. You know, I've called police up on my situation and they did not do anything. I, you know, I've tried to get myself in situations where I can move on and I got stuck. And I was like, why can't I get out of this situation? Why do I feel like I'm stuck in the cycle going over it and over again? Because I was not learning what I truly needed to know and learn from my situation for me to be able to move on. It's like, we're only, it's like, it's a state of mind that you put yourself in that you're stuck. You know, you have to be able to learn from those situations and knowing there's a reason for everything. And like I tell y'all, there's a pain, there, there's a purpose behind every painful situation you go through. No matter how, like, gut-riching it is, it's a reason. It's a reason. You know, when people are starting to separate from our lives, you know, and I tell people, when you start this journey, you're going to have a handful of people. You'll be lucky if you still have, out of those handful of people, five or six people that is supposed to be there, you know things we go through it, it has it serves a purpose and that's the reason why we had to go through this shift for the last few days this is the reason why we had to experience a heartbreaking pain cry do our kumbaya yas you know deal with certain situations my bad but yeah it's like these situations we have to learn from we have to see what that lesson is that this experience has taught you 
your your pain and your sorrow when it comes from situations as opposed to allow you to grow from them find your strength find your self-love find your self-respect find your self-worth you know and i can actually sit up here and say from all the things if you know what i truly been through if you've been with me for a while you know what i've been through people on that does one-on-ones they understand what i went through and you know they're like rosalyn you are so strong there's days that I, I I had my weak moments. I'm not going to lie about that. I keep it very real with you. I mean, it took for this cycle. I mean, I had to go meditate today when I was on my walk, nature walk for like 10 miles. And I was just like asking the universe, what is it? I'm not truly getting like my, it's like at the tip of my tongue. It's like tip of the fingers, but I really wasn't really getting the gist of what I truly needed to learn. Even though I was learning a lot of things because what I, what, what they send me, is what I push out to y'all. You know, the energy that you needed to feel, I send it out to you. And it was just like when I finally got that, what it was, you know, and I had a close friend of mine tell me, you know what, Rosalyn, you're going to really go through something today. And I was just like, oh, God, what am I going through today? But many others is going through it as well. You know, you're going to see your situation for what it was. You know, when you can actually appreciate the pain that, it's, you know, that you have experienced. And I used to see people with, motivational videos and talking about the things they they went through and stuff like that and i'm just like huh you don't know what i've been through everybody's been through stuff you know it's just like are you gonna are you gonna allow this to make you be, have a billboard of oh feel sorry for me feel sorry for me i can't feel sorry for anybody i don't want nobody feeling sorry for me you know for what i've been through because we all have been through stuff you know i can you know, I can sympathize with them, but I, I don't want to feel sorry for nobody because you don't want to play victim. And some people do that, you know, because they feel like that's, you know, they're getting their attention. They want, you know, somebody to constantly do that. And it's just like, there's people I'm like, okay, you know, I'm here. You want to talk? Oh, no, I'm fine. Oh, no, I, you know, or they just avoid, avoid the conversation totally altogether. But it, but they want to come out here and start talking, you know, people get on social media and start talking about all these other things. I'm like, well, I just tried to be there for you when you want to talk and you didn't want to really talk you know and there are some people that you know i love and admire because they they have also been through stuff and they'd rather deal with it on their own and that's fine also too but you always need somebody that can relate to you they can you know push out that that positive energy energy that you truly need to have at that time you need to get that re reassurance or that family friendly reminder that you know what everything's going to be okay you have to go through it and get to it that's it that's all you have to do but you have to be kind with yourself you have to be gentle with yourself and knowing rome was not built in a day so you're not going to just up and forgive something just like that it took me a minute it took me three years three years even though i've been going through this my whole life it took these long lasting three years for me to do that it took my father to pass away for me to know all the things that i knew the pain that he's experienced the pain that i've experienced and i can actually say that without crying that's a good thing that's when you know you're gonna heal from something if you can tell your story without shedding a tear it, that lets you know you are healing you're getting the gist of what you had to go through all of that in a nutshell <laughs> so i hope you are able to resonate with the content of this video i hope y'all are having a blessed safe week and i know y'all had to go through some really trying times especially for the last couple of days but you're gonna get through it you're gonna heal from this and you're gonna know what your situation has taught you and you're gonna grow from this so give me a thumbs up like and even share on your social media favorites drop me a line i love the chance to hear from you um you know like and subscribe share 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 give me a thumbs up Know that you are truly blessed, highly favored, and forever loved, and knowing there is always someone out there praying for your better days. And I will give a post notification shout out on my next video because this one's already over 30 minutes, 13 minutes long, and it's only going to take about four or five hours just for that upload. So I will see y'all in my next video. Much love to you. Peace and be wild.